welcome to our Little Did I Know YouTube debut. <laughs> well, we launched our Little Did I Know podcast in January. The hope of our podcast is that you would feel like you were sitting with us and having a heart-to-heart -heart friend conversation. If it's in the morning, we would be chatting over a great cup of coffee. Yeah, really good. Or cup of if it's a decent afternoon time, we would definitely be enjoying a happy hour. As you should. So, with the magic of YouTube, we get to almost make that happen. So, if by chance you're not a regular listener to our Little Did I Know podcast, let us first introduce ourselves. Shauna, yes, me first. Stage is yours. Me, me first. Okay, so you first. I, I'm from Indiana. So all that says is I'm extremely country. And if you don't really know me, you probably wouldn't think that. But in my heart, my core, I am just a country bumpkin. I love okay. all things outdoors. I am an adrenaline junkie. Um, I was an athlete. I want to say was because these knees anymore, they just don't cut it. But okay. I did play ball, um, was playing for Coach Pat Summit, and I also mm. played in the WNBA for six years, which two teams that I played for, San Antonio and Tulsa, they no longer exist. Hmm. 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 Is there a funny. mystery there? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the one thing that really connected Steph and I, which is kind of how we started this thing, is um, I'm in my second marriage, and I don't want to steal her thunder, but but she is too. I am too. <laughs> and so that's kind of the connecting piece is that we walked through a lot of that stuff together. So that's kind of the premise behind the Little Did I Know podcast. Not in totality, right? But that's just a little sure. bit of where we're, where we're coming from. Your turn. Tell me about you, my dear. Well, Sean, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I am Stephanie, Stephanie Parks. I am, this might come as a giant surprise. <laughs> You're not an adrenaline junkie, are you? I'm not an adrenaline junkie, <laughs> and I'm also not a former athlete. <laughs> what you'll find even more about us is that we really are the yin and yang to each other. We are a yin and a yang. Yep. I am a girl's girl. So I am here for everything that sparkles, that has glitter. I love, you know, a great MAC lipstick. I like hair products. I like high heel shoes. Like I am a girl's <laughs> girl. Um, I am the mom to four amazing humans. And um, I am also in my second marriage. hey -oh. Heyo! So I'm a licensed medical esthetician. So, Ooh. you know, all of this comes with some education. <laughs> so I am not just well a flash in the pan. That's right. <laughs> I have a certificate that tells you that I am serious. Um, but I am excited about this next little platform that we have in YouTube. What we hear people say all the time is it really does feel like they're having a conversation with us over coffee, or again, or happy hour. But to be able to link this with our Little Did I Know podcast is super fun. So our hopes in that is that we will trail and just continue on the conversation from our podcast. Yes. Um, Not the same you're, content. You're going to get extra. For sure. And probably even some juicy stuff. I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe. <laughs> but we're going to keep on that conversation. We're just going to kind of go deeper into that, right? Isn't yes. that what you would yes. say? Yes, yes, yes. Totally agree with you. And I have heard over and over, we want to see your faces. <gasps> and I said, okay, we should do YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so where we're starting now is... We, episode six aired just a little bit ago, like a little right. over a week, right? And that was right. our likes and dislikes episode, yep. which honestly was probably one of my favorites because it's lighthearted. It's freaking hilarious, if yeah. I do say so myself. And we just, we do have a lot of opinions and we like to laugh a lot a on lot. here. So we're kind of do a stem off of that. Like that's kind of how we're wanting to start this whole thing is we're not going to talk about the same likes and dislikes, but you're going to get a little bit of extra of our likes and dislikes. So, Steph, do you think we should just start away? Let's just let's just dive right into our likes and our dislikes. Starting I do. with, I, I real quick though, because okay. I feel like out of one of us, somebody has some loose slips that might sink a couple ships. So I want to <laughs> just say, I want to just say, nothing that we share is meant to offend anybody. 
Okay. Yeah, lose Please? list McGee over here. I don't. We we don't want that to hinder any of our potential fans and sponsorships. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna just start wearing my sponsor me shirt, and I just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Um, and so, um, these are just opinions. We don't want to offend anybody from them. Um, and you know what? Sometimes they we might change our mind too. But like hey, we are allowed to do that. If you get offended, I feel like that's something that you, you, it's your own personal issue. I don't know. Sometimes I could probably be a little, a little rough. Around yet. Just, <laughs> let me tell you, I had, I had a couple of my friends say, well, guess what, Stephanie? I do like Moscato and I am going to drink it when I'm with you. And I was like, okay, it's fine. I am not telling you not to drink it. No I'm just reason to get you, offended in that. Yours truly won't be drinking it. Yeah. So, um, I just don't want to ever hurt anybody's feelings in that, in that way. Listen, so, you yeah. have loose lips, McGee, scruff, McGruff. I, I just tell it like it's <laughs> like it is hardcore. You got issues. That's your problem. We establish boundaries. That's, that's how we probably roll. my number two on the Enneagram. I'm just like, please, I don't want to hurt your feelings. And okay. I'm like, so get over it. And I'm like, suck it up, buttercup. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So let's start. We're going to okay. start with food and beverages, all right? So I want you to share a little bit of what, like a be breakfast beverage. What do you like okay. and what don't you like in a breakfast beverage? This is my lane. Like, this is my lane. Okay. So my favorite breakfast beverage, I have two, okay? Okay. Weekday is French press coffee. Yeah. Like, I love it. Yeah. I love it. This is the real truth. This shows you when I go to bed at night and I'm like turning off lights and I see my water kettle because that's how I heat up my water. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> like I'm coming back for you. And it makes me so happy. So typically I'm just one cup of coffee. Although today it's number two because, you know, it's our debut. So I needed to be like. And it's just, on... just coffee in there, right? I don't know. You're not the boss of me. I don't have to tell you things. So I do what I want. I'm an adult. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's your second one? Quick, go. Weekend is mimosas. I love Because you're a simple girl. I am just a simple girl. Yeah. I love mimosas. Um, so we just had a, we just went to brunch this weekend. Mm -hmm. And on the menu, they had um, the, on like libations, what they called it. And it was an entire bottle of champagne and a carafe of orange juice on there. I did not see anything that was just a single cup. And I was like, okay, <laughs> if I, I guess I got to order that. <laughs> and I was like, it's going to be a lot, but I could, all right, I will. So I asked our server, I was like, is this it? Like, do you serve them single? And she was like, of course we serve them single. And I was like, well, I was gearing up to be like a whole bottle of champagne, whole carafe of orange juice, but just one. So and that your was entire it. day in Seattle was over. <laughs> I know. No, it just started off on a really good foot. Oh, that okay. is for okay. sure. Okay. So you want me to tell you what I don't like. Please do. And this again, this yeah. is probably going to be controversy. I'm I'm ready. I do not like V8 juice, and I do not like oh, Bloody Marys. You're preaching to the choir. Mm. I don't. That's okay. You do you. Yeah, I don't you know can if do it's the Tabasco that they add. I'm not really sure, but I don't oh, like those. Just a spice to get you jump started. That's it. Okay. All right. Well, that that's what I that's my like and dislike on that. So, okay, okay. yours. Coffee for favorite. sure. I mean, I could just, that's just kind of the given. But I also, you know, if I'm eating pancakes or waffles, I want milk. <laughs> you can do fruit juice with pancakes and waffles but i will say this i also like cranberry juice because i don't want to get visited by the yeast or bunny you know what i mean <laughs> no thank you no ma'am season too no no no, no. ma'am okay this okay. is season my dislike <laughs> i agree with you tomato juice of any sort grapefruit yeah. juice i feel like that's oh just... no oh mm -mm. god did he he did something a little bit off i think when he created grapefruit it's kind of like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of missed that. I know. Just not a fan. Just a smidge. Just yeah. a smidge. Okay. Yeah. How no, about okay. how about vegetables? Let's go to the next one. What's your like and dislike of a vegetable? Yeah. I don't know the importance of this, but but just let me know your thoughts. Okay. Um. I so if I'm gonna just narrow it down, I like broccoli. Okay. Broccoli would be my go-to. Like I like okay. it roasted. I like it. You know everything. I like broccoli. The broccoli, smell broccoli, of it broccoli. though, it almost ruins. It's the fart smell. 
Well, you, uh, I just like the <laughs> fart smell of broccoli. <laughs> That's when it's I mean. cooking, is that what you mean? No, when you like open the bag. No, say I buy it fresh. Well, it I just know, comes but, in little bunches. But even in like, even in the, you don't put a bag around it when you buy it? I mean, it's fresh, so you just put it in your crisper. <laughs> and then you get it back out. <laughs> I'm not bagging anything. Never I don't mind. Know. I digress. <laughs> this is yours. Sorry. I, I interrupted your lane. <laughs> I know. Let me have my minute. Um, okay. I am, I, since I was a little girl, which was a minute ago, right? This has been my dislike. This has not ever changed. Okay. Peas. Mm. I do not like peas. I think because we never ate a fresh vegetable when I was little, but like a canned pea. Ooh. Barfarama, barfo. <laughs> like I don't like it at all. Like I don't. Barfarama. Like Barfarama. I do not like peas. That's my thing. I'm gonna okay. say no to that. Say no to peas. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, kale. I love kale chips. Oh yeah, that's a mm, good one. I yeah. love some kale chips. Friends mm-hmm. kind of make fun of me because I feel like I have kale in every meal, which okay. could be causing other problems. But I love kale oh, and yeah. dislike. Mm-hmm. Uh, cooked spinach. I just don't like anything smushy. I don't like smushy vegetables. I don't like smushy anything when you cook it too long. But just yeah. even cooked wilted spinach, I just okay. Bleh. So you know, I added spinach Woof. to my scrambled egg, and it's amazing. Well, if it's in the mix of other things, that's fine. But oh, but just on its own, that's gross. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You have that. <laughs> no, that's yucky. Okay, okay. So what about fast food? Yes, yes. Okay, I love, and this stems from my college days, but it used to be called, oh, what would it used to be called? I forget, but now it's it's Zaxby's, Zaxby's Chicken. You I've know never had it. I've seen it. I've never oh. had it. Really? I rarely eat fast food. I'm just going to premise know, that. I so. know, here, yeah. But when I do, when I'm in, like, go back to Tennessee or anywhere that has a Zaxby's, I'm like, mm-hmm. gung-ho, full bore, Get me some of that special sauce with those chicken fingers, oh. and I just get weak in the knees. Really? I do. It's okay. so good to me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I also like McDonald's french fries, but then I love Jim Gaffigan. Do you ever watch Jim Gaffigan stand I up? I love Jim, oh Jack- Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> I like him. He makes me laugh like nobody's business. I got my parents on him, and he just cracked us all up when they were here visiting. But He's he does good. this piece on McDonald's. And it's like, have you ever just looked at what your McDonald's food looks like if you've waited an hour to eat it? <laughs> and he's like, those fries are disgusting. But he's like, I'll eat them anyway. <laughs> and then like the McDonald's milkshake that completely separates into like two oh. nasty entities in themselves. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but I do like McDonald's french fries. Okay. And okay. this one's sentimental to my heart because of my bro, White Castle. Okay. Oh, <laughs> like, calls I them, just had acid reflux yeah, just bubble like, right up. Those oh, little no. rectum rockets yeah. <laughs> have so much flavor, but oh, they're no. so gross. Yeah. So do you have a dislike? Pretty much every other, yeah. you know, fast food restaurant, but it's specifically like Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Oh, it's oh. just like a whole other level of disgusting, especially yeah. when you have like, I call it the sex burger because they had tried to do this like extremely flamboyant commercial with this sexy woman. I was just thinking about selling that. Selling this hamburger. Yeah. I'm like, get out of here with that mess. But then also yeah. Taco Bell with their like grade D meat that they put in tacos. I don't know really what you're eating. Mm-hmm. So all those you're are my dislikes. My right there. Yeah. I'm I sorry. Got Go for it. No, it's all about you. It's fine. That was your question. I'm glad you um, finally see it my way. <laughs> I, there is enough to share. So I'm going to tell you, I also don't do a lot of fast food. I don't. I think once you hit 40, you really shouldn't. Like, it doesn't go away. It stays with you. You know, next thing you know, it's riding on your hips beside you. It's not good. <laughs> it's just not good. So I don't do a lot of fast food. But I'm going to tell you, I am a Chick-fil-A Christian chicken girl. Like, you get, I, I love it. I love Christian chicken. I really do. <laughs> like, I think that their service is so fantastic. My pleasure. I, I yeah, and I love Chick Fil A sauce. So I'm probably never gonna say no if you take me to Chick Fil A. Okay. Not. Mm-hmm. I've even like when I'm doing really good, like you know I'm doing Weight Watcher points right now. What what WW <laughs> sponsor us? <laughs> um, please. Ah. Uh, uh, I, I, you can do a salad 
Oops, a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> Am I an amateur? <laughs> Um, but anyways, okay. So, and I am with you on my dislike of this. Yeah. I have never been so drunk that I need to go to Taco Bell to soak up my alcohol. I don't, I can go to Town Topic Burger, which is this little burger spot in Kansas City, does a trick. <laughs> I do not need to go to Taco Bell. Like I'm never that drunk. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. So, when the Royals won uh, the Ro- they were we were in the Royal Series, you know, and if there was I don't even know what it was. Um, probably because I was so drunk, but I don't know. <laughs> but if they scored something, Taco Bell gave a oh, taco. Yeah. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I don't. It's something like that. So my trick, my trip to work was there was a Starbucks drive-through. You know, like how you have in Seattle, just the concept of the drive-through only. Like yeah. we have one here, so we Coming have up. that here. And then we have a Taco Bell here and I was running late to work and I was like, I sick cause I'd been at the game, you know, oh my gosh. And I needed to get to Starbucks, the line to get a free taco, which is, what is it like 27 cents? Like what is, I wanted to throw some change out and just be like, wait a minute, come back and buy it. Why are you sitting in a line? That's bananas. Um, crazy. I just cannot do Taco Bell. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I, I trust you. Um, I do kind of <laughs> low key. I really do like their Doritos Locos Taco though. Okay. I would eat that. I would eat that for free. <laughs> for oh, I still wouldn't. For so free. I, okay. Okay. No. Let's I move wouldn't. on. Let's move on. Okay. Then. Okay. I feel like you're really wanting to shine with this one. We're gonna transition into kind of a shopping idea with your favorite, well, your like and your dislike about a store in a mall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't do a lot of mall shopping anymore. I don't. Yeah. You know, like that's why I think that they. I know. I think that's why God created Amazon. Like I well. think that. Uh, today I had to run into the grocery store to get dog food because the dogs were out of dog food, and um, I had to do a self checkout because there wasn't anybody there, and I was like, "This is an Amazon. <laughs> I shouldn't have to check myself out. Like, what am I doing?" Um, so I was like the angry girl with the slippers on carrying dog food out. It was whatever, but I, I just thought, um, okay. So store in a mall. Store so if mall. I were to go shopping at a mall, yes. where would I want to go and where would I not want to go? Correct. That's okay. exactly what I'm asking. Okay. I, I will always forever, always indoor, outdoor mall. It doesn't matter. I'm mm-hmm. always going to stop at Ann Taylor loft. I love the loft. I love it. I love their styling. I can always find something there. I love the loft. Okay. Love, love, love it. I do. I am not going to stop <laughs> at a, um, that ice cream store that's just the little beads of ice cream. I'm not going to oh, stop yeah. there. I'm not oh. going to do that. I'm definitely Dinner not going to stop at a candy store. Mm. I don't want to do any of that kind of stuff. Like, no, no, no. I'm not going to ever shop at Perfume Galleria where it's just a whole lot of stolen perfume that people are wanting to sell. Hey, you know where I bought my first bottle of Queen? Was it? Maybe. It was stolen. It might have been. <laughs> I don't know that anymore. <laughs> I didn't steal it. Yeah. No, for sure. No, no. Listen, no judgment. This is a no judgment zone. <laughs> but let me tell you, that Queen fragrance... Was it it? Mm. Yeah. I still wear it to this day. Do you still? Yeah. Okay. You find a good thing. You don't depart. That's actually true. No, I do believe. And scent is such a huge thing. So those are the things that I'm not okay. going to go to. Okay. When yeah. when I was thinking about this question, I started laughing because I also thought, like, when's the last time I went to a mall? I know. And, like, I've I... been, right? And we even had this ex- extreme elaborate scavenger hunt. Um, in this outdoor mall in Hawaii for our, uh, like, we called it, what is it, the Amazing Race type thing. Anyway, oh, that's like the oh last time that I went to a mall, really. But okay. the last store that I went to was like at Apple or REI. Like, those were some okay. mall stores. I love Auntie Anne's pretzels. Okay. Yep, that was Tucker's childhood. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Like the rack, of course, I like Foot Locker Journeys for Shoes. Okay. That type of stuff. But I'm not a, I'm not a huge mall goer either. But what yeah. what I don't like about our um, I have this love hate relationship between like Forever Twenty One and H and M. 
mm-hmm. because it's just so cluttered. Like I like the stuff, yeah. but it's just so cluttered. I get overwhelmed when I walk in there. So that would probably yeah. be a dislike of mine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you know when you have to stop shopping at those stores is when your daughter starts shopping at those stores. <laughs> and so I I'm like, oh, there it goes that. Um, so <laughs> Tate loves both Forever Twenty One and so you Patreon. can't. No, nah, that's you. all right. It's fine. You know, it's fine. Um, okay, so this is one that I'm really excited about. I know. You asked me, me last time about this. I know, I know. So I really feel like, you know, as we're sitting in that comfy, cozy spot with everybody and like we're really just sitting around like a coffee table, this is a good topic. This it one's is. good. I'm, I'm yeah. about to block things thrown at me um, from okay. you. Let's talk Olympics. Yes. What do you like and dislike about the Olympics? Even knowing that the future of our friendship and any business endeavor from here on out might be tainted. Listen, you either love me or you hate me. I am okay. who I am. <laughs> I, love, I love basketball, clearly. I love track and field. It's probably my favorite yeah. to watch. Yeah. And I also love volleyball. Men's and women's, okay. specifically beach. I love beach volleyball. Oh and yeah, men's court ball. I just love it. Love, 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 love it. You're doing good. So what far. I don't like, <laughs> archery, shouldn't be a sport. Speed walking. Mm. Oh come on! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Curling. Okay, no artistic swimming. I feel like you're like I. Um, we need another sport. What's the craziest thing that we could come up with that people would do and still call it artistic swimming? Mm-hmm. or equestrian no, that... anything equestrian it's oh. like the horse is doing all the work why yeah. why are you an athlete i don't understand the horse yeah. is doing all the, everything and that's a privileged sport you only get to do that if you're rich so as I feel is like sailing make that go i know, make that go away or if your mom's Lori laughlin and says that you're on the rowing team for usc and you're really not okay. hey <laughs> ding 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 <laughs> but here's the one rhythmic gymnastics <laughs> there it is mic drop <laughs> I feel like okay I I feel like the okay the thing about uh artistic swimming is like so let's just say like if you and I were going out for a sport okay and you would you would be like the swimmer you would be like the Michael Phelps right you're like gonna swim you're gonna do that and they're like Stephanie where can we put you <laughs> I know you know how to hold your breath you know how to do a few little laps and you can, you know, do this, but you know what you are? You are artistic. You have a team too. So I feel like that's really what that, we are. The, we are just, we're like the B team swimmers, but okay. we are artistic. But just so you know, I swim like a barge. I would not be Michael Phelps. That's just not me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying hypothetically, okay. I'm also... I'm really not going to be that good at artistic swimming either. I might feel like I am, but I'm really not. I love it. I love it. I don't know. I did see you exemplify how you (laughs) can grab things with your toes with a straight leg and pull them up. I feel like you would be extremely flexible with different things that you might be good at it. And listen, if I keep up with this yoga and I really get my stretching on, I mean, the sky is the limit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay. Okay. Your turn. So keep going. I live for the Olympics. Like, oh, I live for them. Cool. I just saw a thing that we're less than 500 days away from Summer Olympics in 2020. Like, it's happening, people. Like, we are on a countdown. So I love the Olympics. Love them. Um, one of the things that made me go through with my divorce with my ex-husband was he made me lose the entire 2014 Winter Olympics. And I was like, you know what? I don't even know who won figure skating. So guess what? <laughs> you have to go. There is a thing you called the World go. Wide Web, but you could look that up. <laughs> you know, life was too hard. I needed to see it either live or not at all. So, okay. So for me, the Olympics in the winter, um, <clears throat> I love them. Like I, I just, I love everything winter and I really do love curling. I think curling is, curling is like bowling as a winter sport. But you like don't like get, bowling. 
I don't, but I do like curling. Um, they get to wear fancy, jazzy clothes. Have you seen them? They are so That's cute. why. Those I, are I'm, clothes. I'm, and then, but the technique, like bowling is just, you throw the thing, but curling, you have to like shuffle, sweep, clear. I mean, ah, oh, there's you so many the things. I, I know. Cause I watch it. I do. I love <laughs> it. Um, but I don't like any, they do a, they do a, like a winter hunting thing. Uh, no, don't do that. I don't think that's a win. Uh, that's a sport. I don't like to do that. Yeah. So for summer, summer, I am all about gymnastics. I love watching gymnastics. I like rhythmic gymnastics. You know, a couple year, couple Olympics ago, you know what they did? Trampoline. That yes, takes talent. Did. That does take talent. Have you seen that? I have. Yeah. Yeah. I. Oh man, the I feel guts like to do that. Yeah, for sure. And I also do not like equestrian. I don't feel like that's a real sport. I feel like that's a white privilege sport. And the, yep. we, what are we doing? What are we doing if we're going to unite the world? And some of these people don't even have homes to sleep in. And then we have million dollar horses. Like, no, I don't want to do that. We don't have time for that. No, 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 no. The audacity, okay. the social injustices. What are you thinking here? Culture. <laughs> Who are we? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um. Okay. So moving on from the sport of Olympics okay. to athletes. Just athletes. So who, who who do you like as an athlete? Who's your not favorite yeah. athlete? I, I really admire Steph Curry, Maya Moore, and your very own Patrick Mahomes. I think that they are like cream of the crop athletes, but mm -hmm. the difference, because there's a lot of great athletes, the difference in them is your humility. I agree. I yep. love athletes who are humble, who mm -hmm. are team oriented, and have mm -hmm. a larger vision and larger purpose as to why they do what they do. So I love that about them. The, yeah. the athlete that I do not like is because yeah. primarily I watched a Netflix documentary on this individual, Lance Armstrong. Oh my gosh. Let You're right. me stop before. Oh no. I yeah. can't. What mm -hmm. a crap job of a human to, to mm -hmm. do all that. I just, mm -mm. no, thank you. Your turn. I On that note, your turn. Couldn't agree more. So my favorite athlete would be the Fab Five Olympics, the gymnast. Like I love them. <laughs> okay. I think the nice. whole Fab Five, like Simone Biles. Nice. Yes. I love. I just think that they're fantastic. I think they're great. And now I've always loved them, but now when you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, the trauma that these little girls were going oh, through geez. with bad yeah. trainers and all of this stuff, and like, ah, and like. Like seriously, USOC, like jump in and help them. Like this yeah. is ridiculous, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. So the athletes that I don't like, I'm going to kind of tag off of you. I do not like bad human athletes. <laughs> like anybody who is acting like a bad human. If you lay hands on a woman, you you need to retire. You cannot play sports ever again. It's a privilege to play a sport. And then you and then you you hit a dog or you do a dog train. Like no. No, no, no. Anything that is done is about him. If, now, here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. I married into a family that likes. <laughs> so to try to be nice about it and be, you know, like, I mean, I want to be loved. You know, I'm a two on the Enneagram. Like, love me, please. So I was like, okay. So when Edelman won the MVP, I was like, well, good thing it wasn't anybody <laughs> but him. But then you know what I found out after I did some research? Because, you know, I told you in this past episode that I become a super fan when it's champion season. Like, I will yeah. listen to all kinds. He was suspended for using drugs the first four games. That joker. I'm like, and, and then, okay, so we suspend him for four games, right? Yep. And then because he wins, he gets to be the MVP. We just said, good oh, job yeah. for being a bad but human. But listen, that is how every sport operates. I can't Specifically, the upper echelon sports, track and field is the same way. Basketball can be the same way. You don't hear about this in artistic way. swimming or <laughs> curling, ma'am. Good point. You are right. I have nothing to compete with you on that one. But it is. It's how every single athlete at the up, upper echelon, it's who can cheat and not get caught. That's oh, how it is. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's how it is. Because and your performance enhancement is is everything. So you find stuff like that that's going to... Or you just think that you're invincible so you can go do all these types of illegal drugs and right. you can commit all these crimes and think that you're invincible because of who you are and then... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I the am... the world turns, unfortunately. I'm not for it. Me nope. neither. So I might start protesting games. <laughs> I don't know, like, what girl carrying a sign <laughs> being like bad Be humans the, the only one you're gonna make a difference <laughs> you know what have you heard the starfish story yes you can yes <laughs> thank you well said thank you okay so let's skip <clears throat> away from that even though we have a whole lot of good stuff over there those that bad stuff just kind of carries its weight over there yes so let's jump into i'm excited about this one me too, me too. you want me to take it yes you go you okay go. okay Okay, so holiday. So let's talk about our like of a holiday and our dislike holiday. Okay, do you want me to start? Is Go that what it. you said? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. So <laughs> I love Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> I love margaritas. I love chips and salsa and guacamole. And if we can celebrate around that and somebody's going to put a sombrero on my head, I am going to be so happy i love cinco de mayo i love it i thought you I, honestly were going to say st patty's day after everything that we found out about how much of a full holiday that it is <laughs> i honestly thought you were going there but well done even better I'm, you want i'm me. gonna bring it back around to that but you know what i also like thanksgiving i think thanksgiving's a good one no pressure just a lot of food i, I think it's just, just a good one a fat american's getting fatter yeah well that's again stop with your fat jokes you're <laughs> <my> feelings <laughs> <laughs> okay so do you want me to tell you what i do not like yes i do not like these made up faux holidays these national holidays let me tell you a couple okay where are you going yep let I... me tell you a couple oh come on okay here are you ready i'm ready january 29th is Con- kansas day January 13th is Stephen Foster Day. Um, hang on. Uh, I have a couple more. March 1st, St. David's Day. March 1st, Read Across America Day. March 1st, Employee Appreciation Day. You can't have um, all these on the same day. Oh, my gosh. It's dumb. A- April 6th, National Tartan Day. I don't even know. April 9th, National Library Worker Day. What are we doing? What What is all of this stuff? Let me tell you another one. Can appreciate May 1st, our library work. Law Day. May 1st, Loyalty Day. <laughs> what? But Kansas has its own day? I guess. I don't even know. <laughs> I was like, okay, where's another one? Now, let me tell you the one that we should bring in, and it should be really big. It's Military Spouse Appreciation Day. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I can do, like, National Cheesecake Day. That's fun. Okay. National Donut Day. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. But when you start doing, like, Spouses Day, you know what that is? That's your anniversary. Keep it to yeah. one day, people. Don't be doing that kind of nonsense. Don't True. do that. So all of these faux days, which we also know, St. Patrick's Day. We, we do. We do now. We've been sitting on a throne of lies about that one. <laughs> Peep and like cheese. We... <laughs> Everybody smells like peep and cheese. <laughs> peep and cheese. Nobody's shamrocking around here. Okay, so I that's like how I feel day, about though. holidays. So what? Slushy Day. National Slushy Day? You know, again. 7-Eleven. Go enjoy it. I just don't know, like, all of these things that we throw in, I, you know? I, I hear you. I agree. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, come on. Can we just have a day? Can we just go? That's what I don't like. <laughs> okay, well, what about you? My yeah. Christmas. Christmas is yeah. by far the best. I love everything about Christmas. I would always need to go home with my family during Christmas. Yeah. I love, I have, like, tons of goodies that my mom and I make every single Christmas season and it's far too many we would only eat like maybe a quarter of them and then we have to give the rest of them away but it's just fun to do sure. every Christmas morning I um I create this elaborate scavenger hunt for my niece and my nephew to go on okay last year okay they're nine at this at this moment in time they were nine and six okay or seven okay and Antoine started helping me on this one and we had them get on my dad's four-wheeler, drive across <laughs> a football field, 
find a uh, clue in the playground across the way and drive back while it was like negative 10 degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of scavenger hunt that I like to do. Okay. I just okay. love, I love everything about Christmas. What I don't like mm-hmm. about holidays, Valentine's yeah. Day. Woof. Oh, you're right. Gag. <sighs> woof. So dumb. Yeah. Woof is right. I don't need no. a day for someone to show their, to, hey, spend money. And then try you, to schmooze me with flowers I don't care about and chocolates that I'm just going to eat. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, we don't have to have a day. Just, just do that all the time. See, there there it is. Just do it That is it. I didn't like Valentine's Day before. I did not like Valentine's Day in the middle of all the crazy. And I'm still, I don't love it. Like, I do Galentine's Day with my girlfriends now. Yeah. Like, that's what we do. Just something fun. Um, But, yeah, no, I'm with you on that one. I would do it when I have kids. To okay. just have more fun and a reason to give them more candy. I would do that. Okay. But, like, I mean, I can appreciate if. If anyone or my husband's trying to do something nice for me, I can appreciate that. But it's it's sure. my by far my least favorite. Okay, okay, and you can do what you want, like what you want. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> we probably are just not going to get a great Valentine's Day sponsor. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay, right. our last one. Our last one. Right. Yes. Last but not yes, least, yes, yes. girls' night out activities. Perfect okay. transition with your Valentine's Day. That's right. That is. What right. would be your like and dislike for girls that out? Activity? Okay. Um, so I have an amazing fire pit. I have a covered deck. It has patio lighting. Like, that would be my favorite girls' night out. Is everybody just comes over? We drink wine. We're by the fire pit. Super cozy. Okay, that's what I would like. If inside, if we we're gonna go out and we we're gonna be a little rowdy, it would have to start at Hamburger Mary's. <laughs> like all. All good stories start at Hamburger Mary's. <laughs> and especially if I am in my extrovert self, woo! It is a good <laughs> night. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> so I would say introvert Stephanie is why night at home. Okay. Extrovert Stephanie is Hamburger Mary's drag queens. Like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Couldn't have said okay. it better myself. <laughs> Let me tell you what I don't like and I'm not going to be a part of. Okay. Any kind of girls night out that I have to wear some kind of penis memorabilia. <laughs> no I bachelor at parties is what they I don't want a penis hat. I don't want a penis <laughs> necklace. I don't want a penis sash. I don't want a penis strap on. I do not want a penis anything on me well for said. a girls night out. Valid point, my friend. That's well said. No. Yeah, a penis sucker. Like, I don't want any of that. A penis straw. Like, no, 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 no. I don't want to do any part of it. I love that's where you went with it. That's a strong dislike. Way to go. <laughs> but haven't you seen them? Like, and oh, yeah. You know, like, here's the truth. It's not always bachelorette parties. Like, sometimes mm. these jokers are just, they're kind of like, oh my God, should we win and bought some stuff? Let's wear. <laughs> no. No. I don't want to do that. Pay for what my are the roles? And money. Yeah, what if the roles are reversed and men just walked around with boobs on top of their head? <laughs> well, haven't you seen some guys doing that? Like, this, that's not cool either. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so stupid. That's how it looks. Like, who, who wants to do... You know, okay, so funny story real quick about boobs and a guy. Um, So, <laughs> we... <laughs> me and my friend went to this um bar, just she and I, and we have a rule, like we will just buy our first drink and like, that's it. Like then we can leave or whatever. And so we were at this bar and this guy leans over and he looks at me and he's like, I know you. (laughs) And I'm like, I do not think you do. And he's like, no, I, I know, I know you. I know, I know you. And I was like, okay. I said, well, if you know me, then you're going to have to buy my drink. And he's like, okay, let me figure it out. He's like, do you work in a salon? And I, at that point I didn't. And I was like, no. And he's like, okay, I know, I know you. So he goes back to his table. It's his birthday that they're celebrating with a boob cake. <laughs> so he comes, he, he drinks some beer, eats the boob cake, and he comes back and he's like, oh, I saw you online. <laughs> he did. Oh, like online dating service? <laughs> for like 
the 2.6 seconds that I did it. And I was like, oh, 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 you're right, you did. And I said, and well, guess now. what? <laughs> Bought me a drink. <laughs> well played, Miss Fart. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's such a winner. Like, <laughs> oh, like this could have been my dream boat. He's eating a boob cake. Like, oh, oh, yay. <laughs> and the man with the boob cake is forever etched in your mind. <laughs> I know, but I was like, oh, and so oh, I looked man. over, and I was like, I hope he doesn't know me. <laughs> She's like, you don't know. <laughs> you do not know. I hope he doesn't so, know me. I know. I was like, I he's oh, God. So that's when I realized, kind of like the cloud, sometimes <laughs> when you have an, a dating profile, it just stays out there sometimes. I don't know. So... There you go. There's yeah. my girls' night out. Likes and dislikes. <laughs> and how I feel about that. Okay, your turn. Oh, Take my it. likes. I, I like how you did the introverted version and the extroverted version. Yeah. Because this isn't yeah. me every single weekend. Right. Or every single, every single girls' night out. Like, I like staying in, too. Just have, like, a game night. Mm-hmm. You know, just do whatever. But sure. if you want to go out, I love going out. Like, I want to Uber or bus even into the city, and I want to go eat. A bus? I know. I know. I think it's fun. I think it's fun sometimes. Like, rent a bus or public transportation <laughs> bus? I am, I really am so confused. I know a single person, person party bus? No. <laughs> I'm like, are you going with a group? Pull out my Orca card, and away <laughs> we go. <laughs> so you're going on public transportation to the city. Well, because... Is that what you mean by bus? Well, you know what it's like to park in Seattle. Bananas. Yeah. So, yeah, you gotta, yeah. you gotta work the system here. But anyway, okay, I, was just I digress. Okay, I digress. Okay. I, I'm just curious. Okay. Meet up, okay. go out to eat, have some drinks. I like to go dancing. Okay. I like... But I have very specific people that I want to go with. Because sure. you can't have Debbie Downers when Mm-mm. you're going. And I'm not saying Mm-mm. I'm good at it. But what I love to do is I love to like mingle with other girls night out groups and we okay. just kind of like mingle together and we hover and then we take over the entire dance floor. <laughs> just oh, like okay. I like it. And then okay. I love interacting with people. I love interacting like with the bartenders. I just love, I love doing that. That's just okay. fun to me. Okay. Um, what I don't like, I don't like those like makeup and nail parties. I don't like pampered chef and cookware parties. I don't like sitting at home and having no unnecessary conversation with people I don't really know. No, 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 no. Um, a makeup and nail party though. What's that? I mean, like, are you getting your nails done, or is it like they're selling you something? Is that what you uh, mean? Both. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm thinking I've not been invited to one movie. I like <laughs> and you're one. like, I would really enjoy Wait that. Wait a second. What is that? Um, no, I know. I don't like those yeah, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So those those would be, well, those are our likes and dislikes. It's right. For this episode. Yeah. Do we call this an episode? For this time. Um, It is our debut YouTube showing. This Here we are, is. YouTube world. Here we are. So yeah. every so from from here on out, like every single episode that we do on this YouTube, normally on the podcast, we always close with "Little did I know" because our podcast obviously is called "Little Did I Know." Right. So there's a statement that we always close with of "Little did I know." Dot 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 for the week. So this mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. one for YouTube, we're going to close out with "I'm not mad about it." I like it. So, That's a good so one. Okay. What? How would you respond for this week, Steph? I'm not mad about it. You're not mad about. I have a good one. Okay. I have a good one. And I'm going to just, I'm setting the bar so high. I don't know how it's going to be met every single time. But <laughs> okay. I spent the weekend in Seattle and I'm not mad about it. I know. I know. Oh, yay. I know. It was, I, what I said to Seattle was Seattle welcomed me like a friend, not like a tourist. So like we are really, we have a thing in our house. Like if you've been here more than three times, you're not a guest. Like you have to help with dishes and things like that. (laughs) And so like Seattle is kind of like, you know what? You've been here so many times. You're now a friend. There you go. And I've got a five-year plan. You know that. So (laughs) I spent my weekend in Seattle and I'm not mad about it. You should never be. No, 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 no. Okay. So what about you, Shauna? For me... Something that I'm not mad about is 
the way that my husband and I celebrated his EMT certification, like being done with class, we went on a joyride in Tesla. Oh. I'm not mad about that either. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> not mad about a car that is not just a drive. It is an experience. So we too wow. are on a five-year plan of trying to save one. <laughs> okay. I, you know what? I like it. I yeah. think that's good because we'll be up there and we can ride around in your Tesla. <laughs> and not pay a penny for gas. I'm not going to be mad about it. <laughs> I won't either because I won't have to drive. I can just sit back on autopilot. Oh, my gosh. Look at us. Who knew that those two things would collide so <laughs> well? <laughs> so perfect. We're amazing. We're amazing. So as we wrap we up, are... Steph, as yeah. we wrap up, take away kind of our vision maybe for the future where people can find us in our podcast itself and how to move forward from here. Okay. So we are going to have two platform, two, two media platforms. We're going to yes. have, we're going to continue on with our podcast. We release a new podcast episode every Monday in the morning. And that is at little did I know. So you can find that on anywhere that you can get your podcast. We're on Spotify, Apple, we're at stephanshauna.com. All of those www. places. That's, that's www. www. There's a difference. And yes. also Shauna, it, it's S T E P H. A N D S H A N N A dot C O M. That's right. But so it's on iTunes, it's on Spotify, it's also on Google Play. So we hit the range. Okay. So any you just type it in and you're gonna find us. <laughs> Pretty much. And then you're welcome. Like that's how we do that. Um, so there, there you go. Like we said, um, at the beginning that what you hear on the podcast on Monday, when we release our YouTube, we're going to just take that conversation. We're going to go a little bit deeper, you know, just things that didn't fit onto the podcast. Um, we will just bring here. And again, like our vision really is that this even feels even more cozy. Like we really are sitting down with you. We really are having those conversations. And what we would love it is you bring your tribe and you bring your girlfriends, you bring your people in and you guys do it together and then let that spark your conversation because that's really what we want to do. We do not ever feel like we're experts. We don't feel like, you know, we have traversed so very far that we are like, we've made it. We're really, still going through it we're really still you know managing through and and really taking inventory of all of those things and we just want to give some of that away so that's really what we're about yep 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 and yep yes well said my friend so you can find me shauna mahaley at shauna zoma mahaley on facebook and on instagram if you want to follow me individually um again be kind <laughs> rewind Rate, review, subscribe for us because those subscriptions really mean a lot and they help us as we continue to progress in this endeavor of a podcast. That's right. And I am Stephanie Parks. You can find me at Steph K, K A Y Parks on Instagram, Stephanie Parks on Facebook. And uh, my website is StephKParks.com. And again, we would love it if you would tell everyone to use the hashtag Little Did I Know Podcast um, when you are talking to us. And we have loved the comments we've loved the messages we've loved you know all of those things shout out to all of you that are going to Costco and you think of us <laughs> yes. like that is fantastic thank you for those of you who are drinking rosé and you're like oh my gosh I can't <laughs> wait for May when I can do this again um so all of those things like it means so much to us and so again thanks for being a part of this we did our first one today great job Yay! my friend we will see awesome. you next time See you soon.